Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So I hope you're good, I hope everything is fine. And uh, guys, today we have an extremely important and a very cool topic. So you are going to learn uh, uh, quite a few different things uh, today about rails, alright? Rails are, you know, these are rails. Uh, if you go to a realistic, so uh, they are very widely used, um, you could say, uh, element in our construction industry. And uh, you know, they may look extremely simple, but they're not, right? There are so many different settings that uh, you can do and you can play around with. So you're going to learn quite a few different concepts today so the first concept is a uh, how about for example if the client requests you that I want my rail to be flat um, you know this rail uh, we always have to pick a host so the host of this rail is the stairs and now I want my rail to be flat from this side so how do we do that so we click on the rail we go to edit path we select the path which is below and this is the setting so we want the slope to be flat and then if you press ok um, check this out <laughs> so our first one is done and look at how beautiful now it looks so I mean this is the first concept um, you know this is usually requested by it depends on where the diagram is being made but this is a flat rail uh, if we go to this two again uh, you know this one is the handrail all right uh, for example if we go to this and we can do the same so edit and uh, click on the bottom path and uh, slope flat so it means that we've made the slope as flat and check this out <laughs> so we have made our flat rail and uh, you know you may ask where do we where else can we use this so i quickly made um i went to our massing and site i went to topo surface and guys now i'm going to speak quick all right because i want my video to be small uh so i went to the massing and site i made a, a topo surface very quickly and you know purposely i set these elevations to be zero while in the middle i set it to be minus one so now if we click on our rail and if we pick a new host so we have selected that host so it automatically follows that host right the elevation in this part is minus one that's why do you guys note it it is going down so but this is not the ideal case we do not want it to be right uh, like that if you're walking on a top surface in most or in all of the cases or uh, in fact in all cases the rail is always flat so this is where this thing is mostly used now if you click on that if you go to slope by not slope by flat and uh, come on come on um let it quickly process so check this out guys <laughs> so this is what i was um, excuse me oh my god i'm coughing so this is what i was talking about right the flat rail concept the flat rail concept now if you go to edit type you go to duplicate and we uh, decrease our top rail this is our top rail right to 0 0.5 if you press ok and um come on uh, let it quickly process and check this out. So we have fixed that problem. So this is the flat rail concept I mean now if you look at this it is going it's not even it's going all down and up while this one is flat so um, This is the two different very um, important things that you learned, you know I quickly went there and I, I you know I kind of made <laughs> these openings and everything and you can do the exact same thing with this also so uh, for example um, two and uh, no let's set this to back to one but if we go to edit type and uh, if we select this path if we select this path we go to um, okay I think we have to select one path only so if we go to flat and then if we come right here if we go to flat if you press okay so I mean now you know our rail has become uh, flat all right so check this out it has risen and uh, if we go to edit type if we set the last one we go to flat again and if we go to press OK, uh, come on, so check this out. So all of our rail is flat. And you know, there's a problem right here because that is the elevation of our rail. So now uh, if we go to edit, if we go to duplicate, and if we increase our elevation, for example, to 2, so that is going to fix this problem. So check this out. <laughs> so I mean now this one and this one, I mean it depends on what requirements do you have. But I think this one looks better, right, the rail with the flat surface. Now uh, the last and the most important thing is that how do you make a rail from level to level without a host? So you know there are very few videos on this, and uh, this is what we are going to discuss today. How do you make a railing from this point to this point without host um, you know there's a process so for example this is an opening how about we quickly um, and you know um, okay how about we quickly go to in place mask we go to close we create a mask we go to front view and uh, you know in all of my videos when I go to the front view I always come to the back and then I have to zoom it right but there's again a shortcut for that if you come right here so get uh, I mean uh, get your screen position to your desired uh, view and then click on the uh, right uh, click on this home button and set to current view so now wherever you are in your screen you just press the home button on your keyboard and you're going to be back to that view so this is another uh, you know a very big time saver so the first thing is that uh, how about we go to circle and uh, we set the plane to um 
tap 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 okay we set it to tap we press our home so check this out we have saved so much time by just simply changing that to host we click on that okay done now how about we go to reference and we go to rectangle and we go to set again and uh, okay we set that we go to um, home again uh, so we're in rectangle right so we just simply um, um, click that okay now we go to bottom uh, you know I'm trying to quickly come up with an opening so one and a two and if you click on that so check this out you know what uh, we have made such a beautiful opening within what within seconds uh, so you know I just came uh, with this up right now right that is the benefit of practicing inside Revit I mean you have a bigger um, you know imagination when it comes to architectural design because uh, you know I did this within within just what 20 seconds so for example, the only thing now we need is a staircase in between. How about we go to massing inside quickly? Come on, uh, walls. Uh, let's quickly set this to walls. Okay, fine. And the uh, last one, okay. Uh, massing inside, come on, walls. And uh, right here, we are wasting time. Fine, done. Our opening is done. How about we just close that and check this out, guys? So, within 20 seconds, a very cool, nice opening. Now, the main question is how do we make a railing that is uh, from level 1 to level 2 without a host? Uh, this is a massing and site object we cannot set this at our, as our host right um if we set this our host our rail is going to be flat so now um quickly go to level one um all right we go to architecture we go to railing system we make our first rail in our um, in our first level right so this is the first level uh now we go to quickly to level two and uh, even our other line is showing how about we kind of extend uh, this a little bit you know what Let, let's make it right um, okay and uh, this one for example right 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 and uh, right here okay now we're in level two right do you guys remember so we click right here and uh, right here and uh, come on guys okay join fine so now um how about we go back to our 3d view these are the three lines that we made now the concept is going to be here so we do that by first of all let's go to our south and let's check out what is the elevation difference we go to u and let's change this to millimeters to two decimal places to mm okay okay so it is 3048 all right so let's go back to our three uh, so now we set this and we are going to be playing with the height orientation so we set the height orientation to custom and you guys remember it was 3048 right and uh, we set the slope to uh, sloped all right and we are gonna do uh, what I think we changed it back we do not want to change it so sloped fine uh, that is the first line and uh, this was the second line if you guys remember so custom sloped three zero four eight and uh, two slope fine and this is our level one so level one we set it to sloped now if you press ok uh, let's quickly let it process quickly and uh, come on all right, uh, I think the processing is done. And guys, check this out. <laughs> so we have successfully made, uh, you know, a rail from the bottom to level one without a host. All right, this is how we do it. You know, this is something which uh, I believe there's less videos on this. And look at how beautiful and perfect our railing is. So this is our level two, the two lines. Do you guys remember? And that is the level one which followed the slope. And these are the balusters. Uh, you you know, they're, they're no big deal. The balusters are coming down. If you go to edit, if you go to... Uh, if you go to our edit type and these are the balusters right so for example the baluster the host of the baluster is that how about we set it to rail one and uh, do you guys remember um what the distance of our rail one was it was one thousand so now if you go to our edit type and you know we are going to fi fi uh, fix these balusters very quickly so uh, set the top of that uh, the top of our baluster to the top rail and uh, set the offset to minus uh, one thousand mm and uh, fine check this out so very easy and uh, you know the first baluster is down right that is fine leave the second baluster to top rail and the last baluster to top rail and uh, the offset is going to be the height uh, minus the height of our top rail so minus 1000 and uh, minus 1000 mm perfect perfect and check this out so all of our barrister problem got solved and this is it guys so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it and uh, you know there's a few there's a bit of uh, rail coming down that's fine but the concept you have learned it right so this is how we make rails without uh, from level one to level two without any host and this is how we make flat rails and that's how we fix rails on top of surface so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned so many different things from this today, right? Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day and bye-bye. Uh,